Last week, uh, a reporter from CBS News was sexually assaulted and beaten during uh, the celebration of Egypt's president when he left power. Uh, she was beaten in public in front of everyone and it took 20 people to um, get the people that were abusing her off her. And we asked some people uh, what did they think about this event. Kirk and Kansi are here at the Berkshire Apartments and in light of the news of the reporter who was beaten and sexually molested in public, I um, found that there are no real words to express my disgust in that situation, but yet and still it kind of like throws a lot of dark clouds on the celebration itself and the, the act itself is barbaric and the questions that you would want to ask who, what forces, what nationalities, what, were they Egyptians, what caused them to be so excited about victory and then condemn at the same time a reporter who was bringing the news <laughs> back and forth when actually to be honest with you this time the news helped them <laughs> get to the point where they were going in order to get that victory because they kept everything up to date and what was going on so that the world would know and I think it's ironic that they would hurt the one who was helping them get their story out. Wow. Uh, I think it's disgusting, especially because the whole point was to overthrow their, their king, their ruling, to become a democracy where everyone is in equal rights and trying to build it up. And the fact that they did such a disgusting act and raped a woman and just groped so many people, it's unacceptable. And uh, the, I, it's almost hypocritical in the sense that everyone worked so hard in the protests and tried to keep it peaceful as much as they could, and then it just turned violent against women especially. And for me, that means a lot because I personally am really active with a lot of women's rights and I think it's disgusting whenever there's... Which ones? Oh, <laughs> different. Uh, I know now the organization, um, National Organization of Women, uh, my mother actually got me involved. I, ever since I was like eight years old, I've been going to a lot of uh, women's rights marches and events. And uh, at AU, it's really easy to get involved. Um, even the vagina monologues are this weekend, which I'm really excited to go see. And I mean, it just it comes close to home. I've had friends. Oh, <laughs> major. My name's Catherine Hargrave Kearns. I'm a major in SIS with a minor in women's gender studies, actually. Um, so I'm excited to get into those classes, too, as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Reporting from American University, this is Carolina Cornejo.